Good afternoon, everybody. It is Saturday, July the 13th, 2013. And, yeah. I think that's a new dragonfly I haven't caught yet. Welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf Diaries. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't really have a plan for today's episode. We're just going to see how things play out. Um, my dragonfly's gone. Hello? Did you fly over this way? Nope, you've gone. And he probably flew back over the river. Huh. Anyway, uh, we will wander around town and see what's about. Uh, let's check, see if any villagers have randomly left. Nope. Uh, nope. Right. So, let's take a look in the town. Oh, there's Simon. Hi. You don't want anything to do with me, do you? Let's first look at the town plaza and see if there's a tent outside. Burding, ding. Oh, the music in this game is just amazing. No tent. There's Sahara. Ha! Oh, hello. Yes. We've got something to do this video. Swiftly. So you want me to run? Oh, weed. Oh, there we go. Right. <laughs> Hopefully she won't absolutely ruin it like she did before. <laughs> that was just awful. Accept the payment of the money. Yep, we shall wait outside and see how you kill my room. Good lord. I tell this to the nook man, he asked me to leave. Brilliant. Oh, uh, Right, let's have a look. I'm nervous. Ooh! Ooh! Not too sure about the walls, but the floor? Hmm. What's the wall? Garden wall. It's the same as last time. What have we got this time? Neutral floor. I like that. I'm going with it. If I turn my light off, does it look a bit better? Not really. Ah, we'll go with it. SS Dolphin and the Pikmin. Pikmin 3 launches in one week and six days. It's going to be awesome. I've actually challenged myself to finish Skyward Sword because I haven't finished that yet. I've just learned the song of the hero. Uh, I also want to finish Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. And there was one other thing as well. Um... Oh, New Super Mario Bros. U. I've just finished the third world in that. I, I have a habit of getting into a game really early on and just playing the heck out of it right at the beginning. And then it sort of kills the game for me, if that makes sense. It like makes it boring and I don't want to play it anymore. It's like the other day, though, I, I went through the entirety of World 3 of New Super Mario Bros. U, so that was good. Because uh, I was previously a bit stuck on it. But I'm not anymore. Hooray. Still trying to find the money rock. Dim, dim, dim. It's such a nice day today. Like, whew, look at that. And I'm, I'm talking about, like, real life as well, not Animal Crossing life. There we go. Okay, so I was correct. You don't get gems every single time you use it on the... Oh, every time you use the silver shovel on the money rock, you don't get gems. Sweet. 16,100 bells. Not that we need it, because we're rich. And I've got no room to pick it all up. I'm going to have to pick them all up one by one. Oh. This is fun. <laughs> Oops. I wish that money would, like, automatically go into... Not into your inventory, but... Like, a. Uh, 
if you pick up 100 bells and then 200 bells, it would automatically stack with itself to go into 300 bells. That would be cool, because doing this is a bit annoying. <laughs> Almost there. One thing I've noticed is that villagers don't seem to talk to each other much anymore. Like in in um, city folk, or like to go to the city, uh, every time they like got close to each other, they would talk. They don't seem to be doing that in this game, which is a little odd. Right, here's a cicada. Bum bum ba. I wanted to quickly take a look in the museum to see what second floor they've or if they've got a second floor. Ah, stupid noises outside. <laughs> Hi, Blavers. You can sleep. That's fine. Still not sure what I'm going to do about exhibits up here. Um, I need some ideas for that. Silver fishing rod. All right. 30 sea creatures. Yep, I'll take it. So with the silver fishing rod, uh, our fish are more attracted to the rod, and they also bite for a little bit longer as well. So you don't have to have as quick reactions. Which is good. Which is good. Let's head into Nook Way, is it? Or am I thinking of a different game? Super TNT, isn't it? I keep saying TNT. I'm used to saying TNT. It's TNT. It's dynamite. It's TNT. And I will not fight. I will not sing either. What you got up there today? Not something interesting. Do you have the cabin floor? Because I've got the cabin wall now. I think, anyway. Nope. Okie dokie. Let's sell... Uh, the, the regular shovel and regular net. Um, oh, I can't sell them. Okay. Birch flooring, but oh, don't want to sell that. Don't want to sell that either. Yep, that's fine. I think I didn't sell something important. <laughs> I'll be upset if I did. Let's get the fortune cookies. I went for a walk this morning with my 3DS. So it's good. Dun, dun, dun. I still haven't seen KK Slider live, actually. Oh, that's something I could have recorded today. Oh, well, that will have to be for another video. Let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday will be for this video. So then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, we can we can see KK Slider live next video. You'll see me meet a mustachioed man. I think that's one of the, either the floor or the, see, um, floor or the ceiling floor of the walls for blocks. Hmm. That's a new one. Can't think of what that could be either. Let's get the one which we know is rubbish first. I think it's going to be like block wall or block floor. Block floor! That's a cellar. Please try again. Oh, do. Uh, whoops. In order to entice a gambler. Yep. Yep. How can we help? I got a lucky ticket. Uh, fortune number 30. Something about Sundays. Hopefully it's... Not a winner. A baby bear. I got ripped off. I want my money back. I... I am the mayor of this hip town. You are getting closed down for fraudulent activity. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Let us go to retail. And then I've got an idea for something we can do. Shoink. Badum, bum. I wonder what the turnip prices are like. I, mean, I don't have any turnips, but... Turnip prices. 
59. Oh, I'm guessing it's going to be really low at Saturday afternoons uh, because that's like last chance attempt. Am I holding my regular rod at the minute? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm holding my regular shovel. No, I'm holding my silver shovel. Where's my fi Oh, there it is. Oh. Being silly. I want to sell. What did you bring in? Fishing rod and shovel. Baby bear can get rid of that. Fire bar, that's a spare. Block floor, that's a spare. Balloon wall isn't. I want to keep those. Okay, I think that's it. Is that all? Oh. I am getting ripped off today. I, I think it's, they're like, oh, he's got money. He doesn't, he doesn't need to have so much money for all this junk anymore. Or well, he's got money. We won't give him good stuff from fortune cookies. Uh, that's disappointing. Let's go into town hall and see Isabel and see what she's got set up. Ooh, I've just had a cool idea for something. Public works projects. Uh, what would you like to work on? Start a new project. Uh, let's go with a fountain or a water well. Hmm. The campsite is interesting. Every now and then you'll get a villager stay at the campsite and you can try and persuade them to uh, stay in your city or town. Why did I say city? The fence is just a fence where you can put stuff in it. Custom sign. Face cut out. They're all kind of boring. I'm going to go with a fountain. Because I've got an idea of where to put this. Let's do it. Yay, let's go find the place to build. Okay, Mayor Dale, please lead me to the spot where you want to place the fountain. Hopefully it can fit. Oh, I don't think it can. I want to put it directly behind the tree. Hang on, the tree is free wide though, isn't it? It is. Ooh. Let's just see what it looks like if I stand here. It won't let me. I know it won't. Uh, when you're standing, we need an empty section of ours. Two left and right. There's another four spaces. What? Okay. So it needs to be a four by two. I really wanted it there, though, because it was just like... Hmm. Okay, let's put it in front of the train station. Oh no, that doesn't really work that well. I've got all these lakes in the north of the town. I'm tempted to put it in front of my house. Um, I want to designate some area as a sort of park. Um, there's houses everywhere. I'm I'm going to designate this area as a park. Jesus, look at everyone crowding around this freaking bridge. Yep, this area is going to be my park. Um, there's a nice lake there. I wonder if it will let me put it where the rock is, if I get rid of that rock. What do you think? Ah. Okay, so... Because I do want to move that bridge still. I want to move it to here. So let's, let's keep that in mind. There's a lake there. A house here. It needs to be the other side of the lake. It needs to be to the left of the lake. Where this house is. <laughs> Basically. Um, let's just try put. I don't want to put it where that peach tree is. Let's try putting it here. See what it looks like. Uh, what do you think? Well, Leslie, yes, I think it is. would be perfect. We need room with the plants and everything buried underground. That's okay. It's probably free. Yep. I need to move it over one. Because it all depends on where the bridge goes. Um, let's see. If the bridge comes down here. Because the bridge is going to be two by two. So, I need it to be here. This is very careful planning, this is. 
What do you think? Yes, perfect. <laughs> I need to move it down one anyway. So let's knock this tree out. This is where my axe breaks. I need to keep like a, a stockpile of axes. No, not what I wanted to do. Yep, understand. Ching, ching, ching. Good ching. Drop some money. Awesome. Oh, that's why. Did I get a rare pattern on that? Nope. Like the first tree I chopped down, I had a rare pattern on it. it was a a um oh what are they called? Um I'm trying to think what they're called now. But it was a musical note anyway. I was trying to think of the proper name. That doesn't look right. That needs to come down one more. Just one more. Come over here, Isabel, and talk to me. I want to put a fountain here. Although that seems like it's too close to the rock. <laughs> this is such a pain in the butt. No, that is not too close to the rock. It will do. Let's go for it. Right. <laughs> so, it was something like 60,000 bells, which I do not have on me at the time. Nope. So, I will pay that off, uh, off screen, and we will see our new fountain tomorrow, and I just run over that plant. Oh. So, I will pay that off today, not on screen. Um, I'll do it off, sc off screen, and that will do it for today's portion of the video, so thanks for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I can't think of anything funny to do at the end. Let's just dig up this spot and see what I get. Yay! See you guys tomorrow. Sunday, July 14th, 2013. It's one month since I moved here to Morrywood, and my mother sent me a present in the mail. It's a new wallpaper, pastel polka dots. It doesn't look too bad with the wood panelling I've got for the floor, so I think I'll keep it for now. It's good to change things every so often. I still haven't got around to doing anything with my basement though. It was a bit busy this morning, so I missed Joan the turnip peddler. Still, nothing like attending a ceremony to celebrate the new fountain in town. I really like the area here. It would be great to turn into a little park area. I'm a bit worried that any new residents could potentially squash the plants in the area though. I sold a few bits and bobs for just over 9,000 bells. Just because I scored big on the stalk market last week doesn't mean I can slack off this week. I got a new item from the fortune cookie today, the hero's clothes. I actually got the same thing twice, which is a bit unfortunate. Finally, I checked the museum gift shop to see if they had the silver bug net yet. No luck today! Monday, July 15th, 2013. As I walked out of the door this evening, Pete gave me a letter from Nintendo. Seems like they've sent me a slushy machine. Great!
I love these things, they're great to have on a hot day. There was a large fancy frame in the gift shop today. It was expensive. I wonder what it's for. Still no silver bug net. I'm also yet to find a new pair of shoes I like in Kix's shop. Maybe I just love these slippers too much. I had a quick chat with Sable afterwards. She seems happy working away. So I left to go to Super TNT. They had a time special going on. Everything half price after 5 p.m. This was great, as there was actually a few things I wanted to pick up. Finally, I sold some more items and spares at retail to get some extra money. Thursday, July 16th, 2013, I found somebody's lost item on the floor today and, being a responsible mayor, decided to track down who it f belongs to. This seems to be happening an awful lot lately. I finally found it was Flurries. She gave me a chain gang tea in return for helping her out. I don't really like it, so I'll sell it at retail later on. <laughs> I checked the turnip prices, they were over 150 this afternoon. Kind of annoyed I didn't get any on Sunday now. I could have made a small profit. When doing my museum run, I saw Blavers was deep in thought. He told me that his friend Brewster is a master coffee maker, but there's nowhere for him to showcase his skills. Blavers put forward the idea to build a cafe in Moriwood so that Brewster could set up shop. So after talking to Blavers, I went to see Isabel at the town hall. I filled out all the documents to begin the public works project, and we headed out to find a good spot. There's an area just south of the train station which is perfect. It's right by the river too, so customers could look out across it. I can't wait to see this finished.